Hello everyone, I hope you're all well. Now, yesterday we were looking at converting an improper fraction to a mixed number, but today we're going to convert from a mixed number to an improper fraction, okay? So I'm just going to do a little bit of revision from yesterday. So we're going to convert an improper fraction to a mixed number. So I've got 22 thirds. So if I express that in a different way, it's 22 divided by 3, okay? So think again. We want to express the remainder as a fraction, all right? So how many 3s are there in 22? Okay, so think of your times tables. We'll go up in 3, so 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21. And we can't go any further, okay, because it'll be a bit too much. So we can get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven threes in 22. Okay, so you've got seven. Okay, so you've got seven holes, seven groups of three. And then we've got a remainder. What is our remainder? So you've got a remainder of one. Okay, so if I was to... Um, express that as a mixed number, okay? 22 over 3 is equal to 7. And then remember, I put my remainder as my numerator. So 7 and 1 over 3. So I keep my denominator the same. So I got my remainder on top, which is 1. And my divisor and my denominator was 3. So 22 thirds is the same as saying 7 and 1 third. Okay, so now that's that first one done. And now we're going to do 34 eighths. Okay, so again, 34 eighths expressed in another way is 34 divided by 8. So how many eighths are there in... 34. So we're going to count up an 8. So 1, I mean 8, 16, 24, 32, and we can't go any more because it'd be too much. So I can get 1, 2, 3, 4, and get 4 groups of 8 in, 30, in 34. But what is my remainder? So if 8 times 4 is 32, I've got a remainder of 2 because I need 34. Four remainder two. Okay, now if I want to express this as a mixed number, so my whole number, which is four, so I've got four holes, so four groups of eight, and then remember my remainder goes on top and my um, divisor goes at the bottom. So four and two eighths. Okay, so four and two eighths, so my remainder of two with the top, and then I've got my divisor and my denominator is eight. Okay, so I've got four holes and two eighths. Now, I think I could simplify this. Hmm, how could I simplify this fraction? I could find the common factor, so I can see the common factor here is 2, because 2 divides, divides into both of them. So I'm going to divide by 2, both sides. Okay, so I've got 4, so because my whole number won't change. 4 and 1 quarter. 2 divided by 2 gives me 1, 8 divided by 2 gives me 4. So 34 eighths as a mixed number is 4 and 2 eighths, or if it's simplified, four and one quarter. Okay, so that is converting an improper fraction to a mixed number. And now we're going to convert a mixed number to an improper fraction. So when we're converting, we must remember a few things. So we multiply the whole number by the denominator and we add the fractional part, which is the remainder, and we keep the denominator the same. So we're gonna go through this now. 
So three and two fifths, okay? So the first thing I need to do is multiply the whole number by the denominator. So three is my whole number, my denominator is five, okay? So three means three holes, okay? So if you look here, I've got my three holes and I've got five equal parts in each one, okay? So one hole is equal to five fifths, okay? But three holes, how many fifths are there? So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So three holes is equal to fifteen fifths. Okay, so all we did was multiply um multiply three by five, which gives me fifteen fifths. Okay? So if I have fifteen fifths, now I'm going to add the remainder. So my remainder or the fractional part is two fifths. So I'm just going to add on two fifths to 15 fifths. And how many fifths do we have then? So when we're adding, we keep the denominator the same, only the numerator changes. So 15 fifths plus two fifths gives me 17 fifths, okay? So three and two fifths is equal to 17 fifths, okay? Now we're gonna do one together. So I've got four and seven eighths, okay? So, first thing I must do is, I must multiply the whole number by the denominator. So, if my denominator is 8, okay, I know that one whole is equal to, how many eighths? Hmm, it's equal to 8 eighths, okay? So, one whole is equal to 8 eighths. If I've got four holes, How many eighths am I going to have? So I'm going to multiply the denominator eight, okay? Multiply the denominator eight by four. So in total, four holes is equal to 32 eighths, okay? So I just multiplied eight by four, eight, by four, okay? So 32 eighths plus, I must add the fractional part to the remainder. So the fractional part is seven eighths. So I'm gonna add on seven eighths to 32 eighths. What do I get? So remember my denominator does not change at all, okay? So 32 plus seven, Gives me 39 eighths, okay? So, four and seven eighths, which is the mixed number, is equal to 39 eighths and an improper fraction, okay? So, just looking at what we did, first of all, Okay, so we multiplied the denominator by the whole number, which is 32. So we keep it 32 eighths, and then we added on the seven eighths to that. So that gave me 39 eighths altogether. Okay, now let's do another one. So here we've got two and 11 twelfths. Okay, so when think of again, what is one whole equal to? So we're dealing with twelfths now, okay? So what is one whole equal to in twelfths? So I know that twelve twelfths is one whole. So what is two holes? What is two holes equal to? So I'm gonna multiply the 12 by two, and that gives me 24 twelfths, okay? So I've multiplied the denominator by the whole number. So I have 24 twelfths now. And I'm going to add on the fractional part, which is the remainder. So I'm going to add on the 11 twelfths. So 24 twelfths plus 11 twelfths 
gives me how many twelfths? So it gives me 35 twelfths. Okay? So therefore, 2 and 11 twelfths is equal to 35 twelfths. Okay? So if you look at this again, so if I multiply 12 by 2, that gives me 24 over 12. And if I add 11 twelfths, give me 35 twelfths. Okay? So nice and quick and easy. Okay? So I hope that is helpful. Try your best in your work. Make sure you complete all parts of your work and send in pictures of both of your worksheets. Okay? Bye for now.